Hello, everyone, and welcome to a show, FYI, for your investments by the 1% Academy. Today, I have with me a systematic trader, someone who's very well known for portfolio management, systematic trading, and has over two decades of experience in trading, technology, and financial markets. He's worked as a programmer analyst, project management, technology manager in firms such as CMC, HSBC and MF Global. He, he holds an MBA in systems and has completed an executive program in applied finance from IIMC. He's the founder and CEO of RBT Algo Systems and a co-founder at Dravyaniti Consulting. Today, we have Mr. Vivek, Vivek Gadodia, uh, and uh, he's a very well-known trader in the systematic space. Vivek, thank you for uh, accepting our invite and coming to the show to talk to all our audience about systematic trading. Well, hi, Nenesh. Uh, thank you so much for having me here. And it's an absolute pleasure to be here. So, Vivek, you've been a trader uh, for a long uh, time now, two decades of experience. Uh, you've been in the market for very long. Let me start by asking you, uh, uh, you know, the first question, what brought you to stock markets? What is it that, uh, you know, uh, made you enter stock markets as a trader? Okay, well, I think, uh, you know, the lure of money, in a way, it seems so, which looked very easy uh, back then. And uh, I should actually see my some of my elders, grandfather, father, my mama, actually, they used to, you know, keep filling those IPO applications. And my granddad used to keep asking me stock prices of certain stocks, uh, you know, like uh, high kitna gaya, low kitna gaya. And, you know, in the economic times or something, back then I used to pick up that stock and, you know, underline those prices and all. Like, so that is one of the early memories. But then I think um, when uh, I, I worked as a program analyst with CMC there, I did uh, work very closely with this group who was, who has built the bold software. Right? And I was in a treasury software. Uh, for a bank but uh, you know that's where I started seeing forex charts that got me a little interested I tried some hand at simulated but then uh, Bank of Maharashtra IPO tabhi aya tha, you know and I had no clue other than uh, you know just a little bit of this and my friend said Haan bhai, ye achha hai, dal do. 32 rupees ka kuch na, 100 rupiah hone it'll go to 100 so I applied you know, and like that was kind of like I think my first personal kind of investment in the market so, uh, I mean, uh, Vivek, uh, investing to IPOs mein sab karte as a beginner, mm. tell mm. us uh, trading ka chaska ka se laga. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, kya hua? Wo phase mein market bull run tha. Apko yaad ho, 2003 to 7 was the world's probably, uh, I mean, biggest and strongest bull run across markets, right? And tabhi uh, Rare Enterprises ka ek report padha tha. Mainne. So, a close friend used to work at Rare and a report that you know India is on the cusp of a global bull run and ye wo hai, to market up and I started trading stocks and reasonably it did well. My cash me leta tha stocks, thode technology stocks karta tha. Uh, you know, Warren Buffet ko padke thoda inspire hoye ki do only what you understand. So I thought like I have a tech background to tech thoda samajh ta hai, to tech hi karte hai. Right? So I went to Deloitte ka fast 500 list, us me top 50 uthaye aur teen stock the, Mindtree, uh, Geodesic uh, and uh, Crane software karke. Like mid cap ITs and uh, did reasonably okay, got in and got out. But problem I had 2007, mein, right? Like, jab eight, jab derives mein guse, toh, sabne bola, do FNO, right? Futures and options is good, it's leveraged. And I think, um, coincidentally, you know, I'm right now in uh, the office uh, where I'm consulting right now, my ex employee, which is MF Global back then, Philip Capital, right? And it's here where you know, it was a different office back then, very close, but it's where I started trading derivatives right and like then like everyone managed by you know basically pesa gaya. <laughs> okay so like fno 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 actually is uh, the sort of uh, looks very easy very attractive and so the worst is when you make money initially it starts looking like easy and then i realized well it's not that easy but uh, thankfully uh was still afloat and not like uh, you know any big dent or whatever and had some learnings uh, cheap i would say like not very expensive learnings and then realized boss it's not uh, it's not as easy but it was i was very curious ki, you know why am i going wrong and where am i going wrong and then i started reading a lot of books so i think market wizards by ed uh, you know uh, by jack schwager book uh, you know 
everyone has heard right yeah have you read it have you read it yeah how many times probably uh, twice till now twice okay so like yes everyone reads it right and most in fact some wizards have also seen like they got inspired by other wizards so within that ek interview tha ed psychota ka and ed psychota is like a systematic trader so that's what really tingled me off ki boss ya yeah, something exciting can be there where oh, the problem really was that uh, i was right half the time wrong half the time which is okay but when i was going wrong i used to keep holding expecting it will come in my favor and when i was going right i used to book early mostly to cover those losses right and that's why net net even if i would make i was still losing net uh, you know post all the gains and not accumulating money so uh, uh, but uh, learn, reading those books and some interviews of traders was amazing right and then uh, i got to meet with a cmt a chartered market technician you know jiske paas kuch ideas thi on moving averages and all and i was a programmer so we took some data uh, we put it into ninja trader software uh, we took one minute data from e signal and uh, humne kuch model back test kiya the strategy uh, exponential moving average or moving average uh, and donkey and channel highest high lowest low, right like a breakup and believe me it showed it makes money right wow. although it was right only 40% of time matlab 60% of time paisa lag raha tha net net it showed that it makes money and the reason was in those 40% time it was making about 2 to 1/2% on average per trade but in the losing it was losing at 1% wow. right so 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 basically the reward risk ratio uh, when it is in favor you cut your losses and ride your winners that was yeah. the whole idea about what a lot of these traders said and you know the data proved it so that was very interesting absolutely so today uh, uh, you know for all the audience everyone who's watching us live today uh you know uh, vivek is going to show us some strategies live okay he's going to show us some strategies build it show us the result of the back testing i'm very very excited for that before i get on to that vivek uh, so i think uh, amazing you know your experience has been uh, quite stable in terms of the way you found your path to systematic uh, you know after you said you uh, once coded uh, a few strategies that with a friend of yours and then uh, from there what made you kind of uh, say that okay this is what i want to do all my life uh, you know uh, one question is are you still a discretionary trader ke aap abhi sirf systematic trading kar rahe ho so this is like that uh, you know melody hai chocolatey ki nahi debate 50 50 wala type uh, dist- discretionary traders uh, just to clarify what nirish bhai said means wo bolte hai ki hum we don't have a pro- set mechanical process right aaj ye lagta hai ye parameter hai वो भी हमने ऐड कर दिया और हम डिसीजन ले रहे हैं हालांकि वी मे हैव अंडरलाइंग रूल बट आई डोंट फॉलो दैट रूल ऑल द टाइम आई हैव सम अदर रूल्स और वेरिएबल्स व्हिच आई कुड टेक एंड डिसाइड मुझे ये ट्रेड लेना या नहीं या आधे साइज पे लेना या नहीं वेर एज अ मैकेनिकल ट्रेडर वंस ही और शी टेस्ट अ सेट ऑफ रूल्स विल काइंड ऑफ फॉलो ईच एंड एवरी रूल मोस्टली राइट इट्स लाइक अ हिटमैन आपको एक बेसिकली फोटो आया है और एक पैसा आया है और गन मिला है और बोला कि बॉस यहाँ पे इसको मारना है ठीक है तो हर ट्रेड लेना है यू नो मैकेनिकल ट्रेडिंग इज समवर्ट लाइक लाइक है हाउ एवर यू नो एंड मैकेनिकल ट्रेडिंग आल्सो में काफी डिस्क्रिशन आता है द डिस्क्रिशन इज बॉस यू नो व्हाट शुड आई ट्रेड इतने मार्केट्स है व्हाट कैपिटल शुड आई यूज हाउ शुड आई लिवरेज हाउ शुड आई इंक्रीज दैट और डिक्रीज दैट एंड मे बी समटाइम्स आई डू पॉज लाइक यू नो इट्स इट्स नॉट इजी टू कंटीन्यूअसली कीप ट्रेडिंग अ सिस्टम ऑल द टाइम although it 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 is probably we thought it's supposed to be done at so there is discretion in that also so so uh, I, i i think i'm in that camp now that was uh, doesn't really matter paisa ban raha hai to wo sahi hai aapke liye like like whether it is discretion whether it is algo i mean like 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 uh, it, whatever works for you and makes money for you is good for you sure i think uh, uh, that's an amazing answer uh, also uh, vivek uh, you know uh, I wanted to ask you this, you know, discretionary trader तो बहुत सारे हैं. Everyone probably starts their career as discretionary. Uh, as a systematic trader, my question to you would be: first, how much is enough capital? क्योंकि uh, when someone enters the trading field, does a little bit of discretionary, realizes the importance of rules, uh, then comes into systematic. But systematic trading के लिए ना capital uh, is a must. Now, my question to you is for someone who's starting. how much is enough when you talk about capital all right so 
just to uh, add on to the on the earlier question also ki what is one of the advantages of systematic i would or let's say what are the challenges in discretionary right so mostly yeah. people is three challenges uh, and this is from robert carver's book uh, leverage trading and rob is a ex fund manager of uh, a very very large fund in fact uh, it was man groups hedge fund which is a spin off from philip and mf global back then and he used to head the fixed income portfolio a billion dollar plus portfolio on systematic trading like right? so super experienced guy professor right and he just trades for zone now so like he says the three os are a uh, you know over confidence okay over trading right and there's probably another which i think i've made my own i'm not sure which is i think obsolescence right the strategy starts after a while something that is working may not work so, yeah. when you come to a system these things can get challenged because once you have decided may i'm going to take the aa trades right or ye size pe so you kind of tend to stick to it and you don't trade when the signal is not there to trade and you trade when the signal is there to trade and if the signal is there to trade big you trade big right so so basically what happens it really helps to one is cut off that emotional part ki Uh, not not that there are not emo- emotions are not there in alpha there is a different way where emotions come in but you are not like judging every trade and analyzing them and you know you don't get that attachment mera wrong gaya ki nahi right it's like in a certain level you are detached from that process and you are just like checking the risk right so so uh, you know and and what was your question again sorry if my my how much is enough capital how oh, capital okay so capital now i think thankfully right with the tools uh, that uh, you know some of which we are going to see now and uh, you know direct integrations with brokers and uh, even something like a free tier aws cloud available free tier aws cloud like basically you can take a server on rent and it is uh, you can try with free right you don't have to kind of pay up front that is also okay for beginning algo right you can say i would say typically anything less than 5 lakhs is like a total can be challenging and that is not algo purely it's basically more about every bet you make how much can you lose as a percentage of your capital on average and then if that is 5000 rupees so which is 1% of your capital right in extremely right. aggressive case agar aapko survive karna hai as trader uh, i mean most market wizards uh, will say not more than 1 and a half 2% outer side tops per trade on average as personal capital and different traders have different view to it but uh, but i think it, it kind of works So, so then I think with that, just bare bare minimum. Yes, and then on what type of algo you do, what infrastructure, like if you're going for high speed algo which needs more infra and all, then the capital requirement goes up because then even the cost of you know setting that up and all goes up. Sure. Right. So uh, wait, my next uh, question uh, will be again, uh, uh, Nesh Bhai, the, the difference actually surely also person to person differs. People ask, uh, you know, yeah. what is enough for me, and I say. what is enough is what is meaningful for you right like for example yeah. like this phone is good for me right so if i make certain amount of money on this i happy i'm happy like but yeah. if i want a certain phone which is good for me which is significantly more expensive then then that much more capital is meaningful for so in that way it's a little bit of philosophical uh, question also yeah yeah i agree i agree so my next question is uh, you know before i uh, you know leave it open to you and uh, you show us a few strategies of yours uh, you know one important question how do you build your strategies so one is putting it in and back testing it what is it that goes behind making the strategies uh, you know that's a big one and i'd like to learn some of it personally from you so, so you are an expert us. teacher yourself and market expert uh, so learning right continuous learning uh, I, i think market has no memory of how much time you or i we have i have spent in the market right like absolutely uh, the day we think we know it all is the next day where you know market is going to come and uh, kind of give me you aware about like it's it's okay so the stop loss gets hit and then you're like back on the earth yeah. so uh, I, i think these initiatives uh, like uh, like on learning like such as this right like we are talking about we are trying to share some experience uh, something you are doing with this 1% academy as is, is very very nice logo actually so <laughs> we're trying to educate about what is as is right because jab hum market mein ja rahe there are professionals on the other side right so if it's like aap cricket pitch pe utar rahe ho bina helmet guard or pad ke to boss season ball se khelne wale ho to wat lagne hi wala hai type without being ready right so we are just preparing ourselves right and continuously being ready and market is changing so dynamically 
spread with so much of more information coming and it becoming relatively more easier to like we'll build the algo and you can literally put it live in 10 minutes now so uh, yeah. you know the amount of new people coming in is good. so learning continuously talking to other traders so like like uh, i cannot tell you how much we get uh, clar- our thought process clarified when we talk to others like so even if you're going through a pain point you talk you're making you're doing good uh, you tend to not talk because then it'll go it's going to go <laughs> bad way through but like generally i like to talk more about the mistakes i made or the losses i had right because in le- in winning trades there is no learning actually there is zero learning in the winning absolutely and i think that's like the one of the biggest thing in fact we've been reaching out to a lot of people uh, you know including your wife who've been helping us wherever we get stuck so uh, i think learning is the most important when it comes to stock market all of us are the students of markets right at the end of the day and uh, through the 1% academy we've actually made an initiative uh, to get people to uh, you know it's a platform where people can actually learn from experts uh you know things like uh, trading uh, you know when we talk about trading technical analysis derivatives we're soon going to kind of announce uh, algo trading we will have fundamentals uh, we will have mutual funds and everything that someone wants to learn about finance uh, we're planning to uh, kind of launch it out uh, so uh, uh, you know i'll ask uh, everyone on our chat right now watching us live okay i'm going to ask each one uh how many of you really want to see some of the strategies that vivek bhai has made vivek bhai is actually going to show us live so if you'd like to see any of that put it here okay put it in the comment box and i'll ensure that uh, he takes us through the process of building it and back testing it which is one of the most important aspects of uh, a strategy and algo trading so what he'll do is he'll put out uh, a few strategies we will back test and show us how they work so everyone on the chat box okay I, uh, once i get five hits on you wanting to see it i will ask vivek bhai to show us the strategy vivek bhai while uh, all of all of them do this uh, let me take you to uh, the next question you know uh, so one is building a strategy second is putting money to it what else is it uh, you know and learning obviously the most important one what else as a trader do you think is the most important i mean let's talk about psychology how important is psychology when we talk about trading yeah so um you know you'll see that there are many people who do very well in on simulated trading okay they can like like do very well you can call it even like a simulation program in pilots when they train right sab log acha kar sakte hai really kafi log kar sakte but when you get on the real field right you are like flying the plane for example you know or you're trading that's where uh, the role of emotions really sets in okay? and that's where i think the kind of psychology you need or mindset to keep trading your system continuously uh, you know to believe in your process uh, when it is not working for you is the toughest and when you have back tested your model you have got some sense ki bhai yahan pe itne losers in a row aaye the ya you know itna drawdown aaya tha it's just like when you're climbing a hill you go up down up down up down all the downs you know jitna bhi gehrai gehrai hai you expect ki ya itna ya dalan aane wala hai and if that comes then that you're not like take thrown up price boss ho kya gaya and so so you're just pre- back testing is a window to prepare you of what has happened and you can gives you an estimate of what and believe me if you got a drawdown uh, you know in real world you'll get more than that okay yeah, historical yeah. drawdown jo hai aapko zyada aayega and and uh, you have to then just prepare yourself ki this may come so i will capitalize myself accordingly uh, so i will limit the bet size in a way ki agar ye drawdown aaya i want to kind of limit uh, and and we'll see some of this in practice hopefully it may you know bring across the point in a better way right but but uh, tra- it's like your trading it's it's in a way like a sport right so you have to be at the top of your uh, form Uh, and whatever works for you uh, can be something which doesn't work for others and something works for others doesn't work for you so you what works for you just keep doing that more of it sure interesting so uh, i'm going to now get to the most important part of this session okay what works for you we are going to now watch for what works for you uh, <laughs> i'll show you so some practical want... strategies that i'm using yeah. okay live uh, actually please. right sure i'm very excited please Okay. and we've got so many users as well we've got so many users 
some of them are part of our 1% uh, you know participants as well so guys uh, interesting enough let's go and watch some of the strategies that uh, vivek is going to help us and show us and uh, very excited to see it so i'm presuming you've got uh, more than five uh, hands yeah yeah, yeah way more hand. okay yeah. all right so we'll move on on uh, i'm going to share my do i have to share my screen so i'll do a present yeah, yeah. yeah share screen okay yeah so neshpa i think can you see my screen now i can okay great so uh, i'm going to create a new strategy right so i'm go this is a platform algo test uh, we'll just go to add new i have already logged in okay uh, we are going to take bank nifty the most popular uh, trading uh, instrument index we're going to do intraday strategies uh, we will take the underlying from cash okay because the future in the weekly is technically not the correct uh, future uh, some learnings from the wife uh, right <laughs> because uh, this is uh, Uh, reflecting a monthly contract actually right so you the cash is also not the technically correct the most correct is actually to do a synthetic but it's a little more complicated it might come in the platform soon but cash for now is okay it's far better than future okay uh entry time exit time man lijiye hum 935 ka entry rakh rahe hain so it means that 935 ko system will go and check whatever is the cash level and from that it will calculate Whatever calculation strike we are going to tell it going forward. Okay. Final setting is leg wise square off. Means if you are doing a multi leg strategy, anything more than one leg, and a stop loss hits of any of the leg, okay, do you want to square off the whole position both together, or you do you want to uh, just square off that leg, just because stop loss hit over. Okay. Got it. So partial head means basically one leg just because stop hit over will cut, the other leg is intact. Rahe. ठीक है कंप्लीट किया तो पूरा पोजीशन कट जाएगा सो फार सो गुड सो फार राइट ओके नाउ दिस दैट यू सी हियर इज जस्ट लाइक अ विंडो वेयर देयर इज अ टिकट यू नो आप टिकट बनाते हो एक कोई कंप्लेंट रेस करने का टिकट का विंडो एंड फिर आप टिकट एक्चुअली नीचे पोस्ट करते हो तो okay. ये खाली एक टेम्पलेट है ठीक है सो लेट अस से व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू डू इज वी विल से वन लॉट सेल कॉल वीकली स्ट्राइक टाइप एटीएम द मोस्ट पॉपुलर राइट यू जस्ट से ऐड लाइक The moment okay, we see so, this, we make that. So basically, what we are doing is uh, we are saying that every day at nine thirty-five we will sell ATM calls and puts both. Are we doing a straddle or it's only calls? Yeah. So we'll be building the straddle. So the first leg is just okay. selling the call. Okay. Got it. Before Got that, it. the most important point, Anish, by why when I are still here, I think, and why you have yeah. invited me probably to share something is because I use a stop loss. निकल जाएंगे राइट डन नाउ विल कॉपी काम जितना इजी हो सकता है ठीक है ठीक है यहाँ पे विल गो एंड पुट चूज पुट ऑल्सो नाउ राइट सो नाउ वी आर वी आर बेसिकली सेलिंग द जोड़ी ए टी एम का कॉल एंड ए टी एम का पुट ठीक है करेक्ट Stop loss remains same. What is our target? Can I? Your target uh, will be uh, at same that much about sixty uh, bucks on. We could, or we could also say that if we are getting stopped out one side, okay, we will let we the other leg remain zero. So we let stop. it. Ha, so we let it go with a time-based stop loss, which is three fifteen okay. maximum, or sixty percent of that leg also. If it hits, we'll get out. Sure. राइट सो फॉर एग्जांपल हमने जोड़ी बेचा है थ्री थ्री हंड्रेड रुपीज सिक्स हंड्रेड में ठीक है कॉल गॉट स्टॉप आउट एट थ्री सिक्सटी परसेंट विल बी वटर लाइक वन एटी रुपीज फोर एटी निकल गया सेम टाइम पे पुट वुड हैव जनरली गॉन डाउन टू मे बी वन ट्वेंटी वन फिफ्टी और वन टेन और वट करेक्ट करेक्ट नेट नेट वी मे बी लूजिंग इधर वेरी लिटल 
nothing or we might be even making money when making this money. situation happens right and then we just leave the put leg as is right just cast stop loss pada hai abhi bhi 60% so it's a very simple rule i'm giving right now okay but just to drive home across the point that how to start right yeah. we, we said how do we start hum vanilla ice cream se start karenge because vanilla ice cream actually sabse acha hota hai in that sense right <laughs> you you can't go wrong with that like maybe caramel someone doesn't like butterscotch but vanilla the most most people would like right sure yeah <laughs> okay so theek hai ho gaya right now so vivek uh, uh, bhai i'll just uh, for the audience i'll just kind of uh, summarize what we've done till here because it's very very interesting uh, you know what we put out so guys you know uh, you know what uh, vivek bhai is doing for us is is putting out a strategy which is essentially called a straddle where we sell a call option and a put option both together now what's the idea when you kind of sell options okay when you're a seller of an option your view is that the the time will be eaten up your time value kind of comes down there won't be too much substantial movement on either sides so what happens is essentially uh, with time passing and premium uh, or options going towards expiry the premiums come down as a seller you want to make money of premiums coming down so here what he is doing is trying to create a rule based uh, strategy where at a particular time we enter both call as well as a put so we are basically neutral on the markets uh, selling both of them and we exit it at at uh, closing so near the closing and within that when markets move sideways we'll definitely benefit like he explained even if markets move one side the other leg will start benefiting because of obviously loss of delta as well as loss of time value so uh, vivek bhai over to you um, you know excited to learn my head absolutely and the only time we will get budge out which will happen at times is when both call and put get stopped put. out on the same day right? yeah which might happen on some days but that is part of the game sure okay. but so now what we do is we will run this for one year let's see okay. or let us go, okay let's go little longer also so bank nifty weekly came out actually in 2000 16 but let's take from 1st jan 2017 okay sure. till date and we just say start back test now just look at the beauty nanesh bhai okay uh, maybe while we are talking uh, you know just saying like uh, you know how are you nanesh bhai how's your day uh, you know you might you might just see it almost getting getting oh it's done okay the back test is done right and okay. that why how i know that because this start back test button pe again start aa gaya right acha so, wo run ho gaya i'm scrolling down okay so now you see okay. some uh, two diagram this from the dark blue line looks familiar must be right what yeah. is it yeah i think yeah, it's the uh, it's the index i mean yeah. for this because in covid the uh, index fell about uh, nifty fell 38% if i mistake for me again yeah yeah nifty fell 50% bank nifty 50 taka gira tha right 32000 yeah. ka 16000 yeah okay yeah. it was the fastest fall in history of any market in the world in terms of speed yeah and then we've seen what happens right and set a lifetime high now yeah yeah so this the uh, like greenish line is our profit that the system has made wow okay it looks beautiful right but this is like that just a warning before we all just get too happy okay it's good but this is like that you know brochure of the car where you say you buy a new car and it says mileage 19 km per <laughs> liter hai but 19 milta nahi hai theek hai average bombay ki city mein 10 11 se zyada mil gaya to like bhagwan ki den ho gayi and the reason so so there is something that will any business we are doing nesh by what what is it that you have to put in before you make sales or any business uh, you are doing to get sales before that sell karne ke liye uh, aapko produce karne ke liye kya karna padta hai Uh, capital you need capital capital for what say you're making a phone you'll have to manufacture this right so yeah. you buy these parts parts pay yeah. salaries to the yeah. team office maintenance factory cost lagega Absolutely. right basically yeah yeah bina to sale nahi hoga so same Absolutely. thing in our trading business we have to pay cost which is brokerage is one but other than that the bigger slippage. cost is slippage जो हमारा आइडियल प्राइस पे हमको बाय या सेल करना है उससे थोड़ा ऊपर आएगा या बेचने में थोड़ा नीचे बिकेगा राइट सो दैट इज दिपेजेड अबाउट स्लिपेज लेट मी आस्क यू दिस वॉट इज द नॉर्मल स्लिपेज दैट यू गेट यू नो वेन यू आर सींग दिस ग्राफ इट लुक्स प्रिटी यू नो स्टेबल इन टर्म्स ऑफ द वे द रिटर्न आर द कर्व इज क्वाइट यू नो फ्रेंडली 
जस्ट वॉन्ट टू नो इन द रियल सेंस वेन वी पुट दिस स्ट्रैटेजी आउट नॉर्मल स्लिपेज कितना होता है सो आई थिंक वी टेक पॉइंट सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट ओके मीन्स एक रुपया है तो हम पचहत्तर पैसा लेते हैं If I want to be really, really uh, rigorous, okay, I can take one percent. One percent is more than enough. But in real world, we are seeing seventy-five paisa types because sometimes kind of slippage up in favor may be a jata hai. Like, we okay. hundred pe lena chahte hai, right? By the time we execute kiya, the market ninety-nine fifty pe aa gaya hai. So, ya hundred pe hi mil raha hai. Or humne har trade mein estimate kiya hundred point seventy-five. So, average jab hum nikalte hai, to generally seventy-five paisa mein. 0.75% हो जाता है। है 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 जस्ट टू टू बिकॉज़ अ वेरी 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 क्रुशियल पॉइंट वी 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 स्पेंड सम मोर टाइम ऑन दिस दिस बाइंग ऐड बट सेलिंग प्लीज में बिकने के जगह वो 99 में बिकेगा एंड इफ डू एडिशन देन पूरा पिक्चर गलत हो जाएगा Thankfully, all that we don't have to do. The tool does it, okay. But if just to understand, if you were back testing in Excel or you were ever doing anything, then please make sure add slippage in buying and subtract slippage while selling. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And this red line down is the D word, right? We call it like the D word, which is drawdown. Drawdown. Yeah. Uh, and it is like uh, point. Any point, sir. Like, आपने how much money has the strategy lost before it again is making money? Right. So, like for example, here, mm-hmm. if the drawdown is, uh, you know, say thirty thousand rupees, you can see this is the max, which was in June twenty two. Here is something into seventeen thousand rupees, and here it's like fifteen thousand rupees. Right. But average drawdown generally, this strategy का ये graph देखे लग रहा है दस बारह हजार रुपए का average drawdown हो, uh, maybe eight to ten thousand. But average में ये drawdown हो. कभी कभी ज़्यादा होता है, कभी कम. Hmm. और तो हम slip पे जाट करते हैं, है ना? Uh, yeah. and then we we'll come to this this another very very interesting things in this table right so I'm just going for so these oral stats and we will add yeah. 0.75% and I will say recalculate let's just notice right now it is showing overall profit as six lakhs okay wow. for the insight I'm just recalculating okay so it has come down to 3.45 but this is now realistic okay so in our world of systematic trading jab hum kuch we are making a model we want to try to be as close to reality as possible correct right because whether we like it or not dalali to deni padegi sarkar ko std gst dena padega aur market ko slippage dena padega that is the, that is we have to do okay uh still it's it's like like uh, decent i think yeah uh, except for i think the last few trades you know we'll see it's flat right like so say from june 21 somewhere this is, went up went down little and it does not made some money also right but we'll see how to deal yeah. with these things little later so it has made yeah. money uh selling a straddle on a uh, on bank nifty will be how much margin approx a lakh uh, or lakh and 20 yeah yeah to us pe bhi agar 3.5 lakh rupya bana hai in a span of 5 years 6 yeah, years right 17 18 yeah we are just over the end of this so that is like how much percent is that that's where this table comes in yeah okay so uh, okay this table is not in the annual but like you can just do or maybe it's there somewhere but basically uh three uh Two lakhs. We made about a uh, hundred and seventy-five percent. Hundred and seventy-five percent. Two lakh pe hai na? Eight lakh rupee apna hai to. Sare three lakh bana hai. So hundred and seventy-five percent. Hundred and seventy-five percent. Divide by six is roughly thirty eight twenty nine percent annually. Yeah. Or is pe worst gaya tha fifty five thousand. Okay. Okay. 55,000 is the worst drawdown that we have seen in a, in a day. Correct. Not in a day. This could have been over a period of trades. Okay. Right. Okay. So, so let's say this drawdown 55 came from January 22 से लेके August. मतलब ये तो छः महीने में आया. Okay. Uh, maximum single loss 
hafta per day is uh, you can take it at this uh, something let, little about 11 to 15 16 hour so this is single okay. trade ka loss but ek din mein wo do teen trade jo hai 14 15000 is what we have lost at max okay okay uh, so yes uh, mostly people are concentrating on only this but uh, you know as professional traders eventually you would want to and uh, our advice to you is to uh, you know focus on this because this should be something that we can chew we can digest okay. i agree yeah and uh, so along with the return of 175% we had a drawdown of 25% right little or 27% 1.5 lakh rupees yeah. uh, sorry uh, how much did we take did we take capital of uh, 250 One, no, two, one, two, two, forty. Two lakh. Two lakh. Ah, so two lakh something. So around twenty-five, twenty-six percent drawdown. Right? Uh-huh. So that we can, uh, maybe it's okay for some, but maybe it's a little high. So we'll see how we can deal with that sure. going forward. Another interesting thing, Nesh Pai is here. It shows the win percent. So this is showing sixty-seven percent winning and thirty-three percent losing. It means that fourteen hundred and sixty-six trades may sixty-six. percent time it made money 33 percent time it lost but when it made money it on average per trade it made 1250 rupees hmm. but when it lost it lost 1800 rupees okay. okay so this ratio of winning to losing here is below one right because yeah for 1200 is that good or bad yeah, i think uh, above one should be uh, ideal But uh, since the hit ratio is sixty-six, exactly. this takes exactly. care of uh, yeah, absolutely. Right. So if this viewing this in isolation or even this in isolation is uh, not meaningful, we want to view Correct. this and this together. If we are losing a lot of time, then if we make a per trade less than what we are losing, then we are losing a lot of time. We can still have a positive expectancy. Correct. And what is that? We are talking about this word expectancy. So it is like saying when Rahul Dravid comes out to bat. Is expectancy you expect? What do you expect when Rahul is to come out to bat? You expect him to be in the crease for long. <laughs> exactly. <right? laughs> and and when Sehwag comes, you don't know, right? He could either be long. If he's long, then he's going to be very long, or he could just get out very fast, right? Yeah. But Dravid may say forty forty two is his average. Then we can expect he'll mostly make either twenty five or fifty fifty five, right? Somewhere in that. Mm. Most of the time. Sometimes he rarely he'll get out of below ten, and rarely he'll make above eighty. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. so he's so so that is expectancy, right? So here it is point thirty means okay. Only if to make things simple, because we don't have time to go into that much detail. We will just say that this you want it to be positive and higher. Okay, fine. हमको चाहिए ये positive और थोड़ा higher हो, right? Okay. And then there are a lot of stats and ways to analyze things, and that's like some of it is probably a more advanced uh, systematic topic. Hopefully, we can uh, do something if, uh, in the learning part or in some other sessions, you know. But like this is just a trailer. Sure, sure, sure. We'll do it in the one percent uh, course that you're going to uh, teach us. Yeah. Perfect. Sure. Perfect. Okay, so uh, another very useful thing is all the trades are available, so you know this can be downloaded. Wow. Okay. तो आपको एक एक ट्रेड का भाव टाइम ये वो मिल जाएगा एंड यू कैन एक्चुअली मैच इट एंड जस्ट सी यू नो अगेन दिस इज अ मॉडल प्लीज बिलीव एंड अग्री दैट द फाउंडर्स आर गुड फ्रेंड्स राइट एंड दे आल्सो वन ऑफ देम इज अ एक्स ट्रेडर सो दे से दैट दिस इज नॉट लाइक सम मैजिक वॉन्ड और समथिंग इट्स अ मॉडल देर मे बी सम कैलकुलेशन चैलेंजेस समटाइम्स सम इशूज आर देर सो यू कैन रिड्यूस दिस ऑल्सो अ बिट एंड इनक्रीज दिस ऑल्सो अ बिट ओके इन रियल वर्ल्ड विद सम एस्टिमेशन बट ज्यादातर ये काफी ठीक है काफी हद तक ये अच्छा है एंड इट्स वेरी इजी एंड सिंपल यू सॉ राइट लाइक इट्स सो सिंपल टू यू एब्सोल्युटली या ओके अंदर इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग यू कैन सी लाइक टोटल ऑफ रिटर्न्स पर ईयर ठीक है लाइक पर साल कितना बना है हर मंथ में कितना बना है या गया है एंड यू नोटिस दैट दिस ईयर दिस स्ट्रेटजी इज नेगेटिव इट्स नॉट वर्किंग एंड दिस मैक्स डाउन आर आल्सो कमिंग दिस ईयर ओके so this is another thing to be very very uh, you know careful of if you were last year in december you saw this whole backtest and you were like 5 saal was ye to solid chala hai ye strategy apne ko matlab 
अपना तो बन गया आइलैंड बंगला बन गया पूरा डाल दो इसमें राइट गो ऑल इट एंड लीवर अप इट कैन बी अ रेसिपी फॉर डिजास्टर इन वन वे ऑफ द अदर बिकॉज़ व्हाट इफ वी डिड दैट एंड देन दिस हैपेंड राइट सो एवरी स्ट्रेटजी इज आल्सो हैज अ प्रोबेबिलिटी राइट एंड हम खाली उसको मैक्सिमाइज कर रहे हैं इसलिए इट्स लाइक प्लेयर हम एक प्लेयर बना रहे हैं एंड in a team uh, we want to create a team of players who are all complementary and they have jaise ek right hand batsman hoga lefty hoga so when kohli is not having a good part you want somebody else who is doing good and when that other is doing may not be doing good kohli is doing good right so we have to create a team sure. okay sure. so ye yeah. player ne bahut acha kiya but ye saal nahi kiya so we'll see we can maybe improve or but i like, don't discard but don't say that ye player mein pura team isi player se bhar do that's not the approach mm-hmm. right correct so great by the one thing that i understand is whenever we as algo traders run strategies also there's not one isolated strategy that's running together in the markets all the strategies are running let's say a bouquet full of strategies i'll ask you how many are the ideal but a bouquet full of strategies and some will make money some will lose money the game as a systematic trader is end pe dekhna hai ki aap profitable ho ya loss mein ho So uh, this is one of which is contributing to what the team is. Just the same way you said, this is probably uh, Kohli. Sometimes he doesn't play. The times he doesn't, you will have a Surya Kumar Yadav who will take up uh, the innings. But it's very important that all the batsmen contribute, or at least uh, some of them contribute, whilst the others sometimes get out on a duck. So uh, uh, interesting one. Tell us how many strategies together. are uh, supposed to be kept uh, you know on a on a particular day so, uh, so you know I, is there a number or uh, how does it I, i i found like minimum 4 or 5 uh ideally i have about 12 the wow. other side okay. and still adding on <laughs> wow changing and we'll come to that in try to uh, in a bit where we can we'll create one more quickly and then see the complementary nature of the strategy that's also a beautiful feature of this a uh, system okay so let's say we are just going to save uh, this strategy so i will just call it like quickly like uh, fisdom uh, you know uh, bnf uh, bt okay uh, let's call it 1 1% right let's just yeah sure 1% like 1 pc okay bnf bt sure bnf straddle bt okay just start Okay, now the easy beauty part. Let's go to create the same thing for Nifty. Okay, yeah. So we go to save strategies. I can see one PC BNF uh, here, right? So this is then I'm just going to go and say save as new. Uh, before doing that, I'll just run it for Nifty. Okay. Yeah. Everything else, so I'll just make one small change. I found uh, we found uh, you know fifty percent little better in Nifty. Actually, we found Bank Nifty little more volatile. We're giving little more room of stopping. space. Out. Yeah. That's a pro tip. For y'all, okay. <laughs> uh, so fifty-fifty, and um, but these small, small things also uh, help. They make a difference. Just update, okay. One, this we will call BNF. We will call it NF. Yeah. Done. And we are just going to say now. So we have. Uh, what to see NFT? Did I say? Okay. Let me just see what has happened. So, I think I overwrote it. So I'll quickly oh, just create a new one. So this is the one percent Nifty. I will have to do Bank Nifty. Okay, wait. I'll just start Bank Nifty. Okay, this is just what you are for Nifty. Then we will just say save as new. Actually, okay. Uh, what we'll do is actually we are running out of time. I will use a existing thing I've created. Yeah, is that okay? Works, just explain yeah, the concept. Works. Yeah. So let's just see. Um, you know, this is the basket of the BNF and the Nifty straddle yeah. already. Yeah. And let's go and run it for like now. Uh, now I'm taking from 2019 Feb because Nifty options came in 2019 Feb. 
nifty weekly came in 2009 weekly. so then we can get a proper capital wise uh, analysis so the first february 19 dete and probably market has changed now from what was 17 18 to now and also i think 19 and all is more relevant and 19 sure. to abhi this will give us what 19 20 21 22 to 4 years we'll just say run and uh, you know nesh bhai earlier days to do this kind of reach this kind of stage it would have probably taken a year <laughs> yeah, 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 sure. Building a database, testing, and creating it, and all, and now thankfully we can just do it in a jiffy, a click. Yeah, sure, uh, guys. Before uh, you know, whilst we see the results of this, put out your questions that you would like to ask Vivek Bhai, and uh, you know he'll be here to kind of uh, uh, you know answer whatever doubts, difficulties, anything that you'd like to learn about systematic trading as well. Uh, you know and. Uh, a very interesting curve that i see there so yeah. let's see the result so you can just visually you can see this is generally better than either the independent curve of nifty or bank nifty yeah and even if it is not then you may want to add because any instrument can go a uh, little uh, different than what it has done so this is at least positive this year hmm yeah this is net net being positive in the year this year nifty work so always trade the basket right and another very important thing dono ka drawdown ek sath nahi aayega so they are complementary so uh, we don't have to use one and a half one and a half three lakh for both you can mm. probably do it in two to one half lakh so gradually right. as we go on adding strategies we can we are doing the capital efficiency and utilization you know? and uh, in uh, simple words uh, i'm going to now see the ultimate step of this before we take the many questions so we click this button show correlation matrix right now what this is is nothing but what is the value here we get is 0.29 so when hmm. nifty is making say uh, 1% bank nifty is making 0.29% okay. but right. it also means that other time when bank nifty is uh, when nifty is losing the bank nifty may be making and vice versa it's okay yeah. this number should be as close to zero but anything like uh, 0.3 positive say point uh, negative 0.3 ka range is okay right but when we create a basket imagine i will have 10 by 10 and like that and you can just create a correlation matrix and you want strategies jo negative correlated view like when one is making others losing completely and losing yeah correct right? so this is like the the way when we create more strategies and how we create the team it's like the process of how to select the team Wow. excellent i think uh, weird why this was uh, an amazing experience as well and i always thought uh, you know uh, for option traders you know we've been uh, trading options for a while now i always thought that uh, you know time value ideally comes across time frames you know within a day it's damn tough to eat uh, theta but uh, you've proved us otherwise i mean it's right there there are people theta, right uh, yeah, yeah. and then we can uh, try be... further things like just uh, you know if you remove it only do wednesdays thursdays you know this can change maybe become even better see win rates have gone up so some you yeah. have build a expiry strategy out of this just do better just yeah excellent so guys uh, i think uh, it was amazing i had an amazing time learning uh, a very very simple strategy but uh, the back test of it is really really exciting so uh, uh you know put out your questions uh, we're going to spend the next uh, 10 minutes asking vivek bhai questions understanding uh, you know things we've not understood or anything got to do with systematic trading uh, vivek bhai i have a question uh, you know from uh, aniket how can one start systematic trading what are the top 5 things that one should look out for oh very tough one yaar top 5 things <laughs> okay well, i'll tell you what i did uh, i read market wizards really loved sure. it i uh, actually uh, tried out the ideas right like like something like this modeling and tinkering then uh, when it looked okay started with uh, you know talk to other traders definitely do that i would say uh, don't uh, okay it always says like don't make the mistake i made but i think we learn from our own mistake but i'll still say uh, invest in education before you will pay to the market the tuition it is better to pay Uh, tuition for something else like uh, learn about systematic trading go to webinars go to conferences uh, you know do something uh, on that side and then finally i would say start with a small account and uh, don't jump into it directly like like 
some was make it very exciting just jump and find it are yaar boss this is a uh, you know a slow downhill slope has come and again you might do it and probably still learn and you know pull yourself back up but like there's just a advice go reasonably uh, okay pace and then once you're confident then start scaling up yeah i don't know if that helps yeah, yeah. yeah i think uh, that's quite uh, you know uh, a lot about how you can start off uh, you know uh, we have a question from sindhu sindhu has also been one of our uh, uh, you know uh, community members in the 1% uh, okay. you know she's uh, she's learned technicals as well as derivatives from us and a very very enthusiastic trader so she's asking uh, what is the requirement for systematic trading vivek bhai if you can help us with that see technically market has no requirement of any educational qualification your gender race caste creed exactly right in that sense it's all about like i think the first question if we go back to how you build you try uh modeling the difficult I, i've seen most people want to build a system or algo but they find it a little challenging of how to get data how to test the idea uh, because if you are going to do this by hand just imagine it is virtually impossible uh, you how to get dead contracts of options and all that right but thankfully right sindhu now you have so many tools which are reasonably nice right simple to use so try these tools called no code tools so these are no code programming where you don't so you know this can be done by anyone right and uh, just try just tinker this is the right word is uh, uh, you know tinker uh, so uh, our son in uh, he did some robotics course he had some software called tinker cad okay like that uh, 3d printing ke uh, diagrams and all creating those uh, things or robotics and it's very easy like drag and drop things right so you can you can just play around with the data and as you work on it you might find some very interesting insights about the market which you never thought i mean i i think i picked up some things which i never thought i'll get in a in a formal technical i'm not formally technically educated yet to be honest i have not done any formal technical analysis course till date believe me it sounds odd but most of my learning is all building systems and strategies and you know doing this as a consultant for others and coding and playing with the data and learning and and i i enjoy this process lovely uh, and i think sindhu uh, that's uh, you know uh, the one for you uh, it's simple uh, once you understand what you're doing and uh, obviously once you tinker with the data the way you said uh, we have a question from vinay how can one learn about options uh, you know wait do you want to take so, it or should oh, i, I, I you are you are the pro in that i think you <laughs> <laughs> Sure. So, uh, when I, uh, you know, good question. One is options cannot be learned out of uh, uh, textbooks, and that's something that we believe in. Uh, we at the One Percent Academy have uh, programs where you can come and learn from super traders in the market, people who are practicing this day in and day out. And uh, yeah, we'll put out the link. If you're interested, please come and join us. We'll be very, very happy to teach you futures, options, data analytics. uh technical analysis and obviously now that uh, vivek bhai has confirmed with us we surely get into some systematic uh, trading as well uh the next question is from ramesha uh, what is the accuracy of these kind of uh, systems compared to human trading i think that's a good question uh, vivek very bhai very good question very uh, good question yeah over to you tell us okay so just one caveat here if you see 100% accuracy rate iit and trader video just be really really careful okay uh nobody gets 100% right that we you know of okay except honestly in the market wizards book i have read about there's an interview of one trader who trades when all his signals are aligned like technically when the stars are aligned tabhi trade leta hai wo trade nahi leta hai right nahi so loss percent to hoga hi 90% aap win le lo 80 le lo the average traders have 40 45% win rate okay I, I, the, what is interesting is uh, what Ash Bhai pointed out that time. What we were discussing is how much you win when you win versus what you lose when you lose. When you take that ratio, say you are winning three to one, right, and you are winning only forty percent time. Still, forty into three is one twenty. Sixty into that one you lose is minus sixty. So one twenty minus sixty is sixty. So every time hundred trades you do, you make sixty. Right? So your expectancy per trade is hundred divided by sixty uh, divided by that, right? So. that is i think what you should look at and many people want to go for being the problem is we want to be right and in market 
it is you want to make money and not be right okay. so so you have to give that it's a trade off of saying main wrong hone wala hu 50 sa time but jab main right honga to i want to be more right than when i'm wrong that's the idea yeah i think uh, that's uh, one of the uh, biggest uh, golden rules i would say to trading uh, you know focus on the when you make how much you make and when you lose how much you lose if you manage that bit your trading is taken care of uh, uh, we usually take a le- lot of effort in trying to go right all the time so hmm. you accept losses but uh, yeah i mean that's the mindset sorry wait where you were saying so no so i don't, I don't so uh, uh, we've started playing poker these days pretty actively in bombay there's a nice group uh, <laughs> if you want i'd like to add even one more so and in yeah. the poker the world is a poker champs their winning rates are you know guess what 25% they win only 25% of the time but but they as the better players also bet only say 25 30% of the time so and then within that uh, you know you your win rate is still good. like as the best players in the world okay like but they are there is a skill it's not a, it's about betting small or less or folding when your hand is not in your favor or you see a competitor who's a better good player and he or she is betting he may or she have better cards than what you know and you know then you want to know that okay uh, you know let me you know it's that ego thing right where you want to like say realize okay let uh, i don't uh, you know i i could be losing he could be having better cards let me fold okay so so uh, you you want to basically keep, just be in the game you have to protect your capital like it's oxygen boss ki mere ko aaj ka to stock aaj nahi ho raha hai kaam chhod do kal aake wapas aane ka market mein it's just like that you need enough money to come and play poker the next uh, sunday <laughs> <laughs> we play small pots and it's like really good fun like like it's more sure. learning and uh, so i have a question uh, from debashish and i think uh, is a good question very valid in today's time in the coming 5 years uh, sh- shall most of the trades move to algos what's your thought okay so algos started in us uh, inflection point came in the early 90s or you know late 2000 and till today there is a huge growth in algo trading in us and other countries and there are a lot of discretionary traders also so okay, this is see the machine what to do and how to do uh, you know when to do trading and when to stop when to increase it's like uh, a human is there the back it's like i call it like uh, you know a, a pilot okay who's uh, you know the if you ever see the pilot works only 5% of time 90% of time sub automated hai checklist hai da 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 ye karna hai ye karna hai okay maybe the pilot is even sometimes listen to a song or whatever i don't know you know allowed to but they do maybe but point is if something goes wrong that pilot has to be experienced to know how to correct the situation right so in algo trading most of the time the machine might do things but you have to still be there and all and there are some i can know some good very good discretionary traders who can be far better than what an algo will be but i just think that percentage of that number of people is reducing in the sense because it is getting more tougher and tougher with more dominance of algos like you rightly said uh, in intraday to beat they you are literally robots trading in nifty bank so sometimes i have a algo running and a discretionary account here where i'm just trading and i'm like donating money from this account to the algo account later right <laughs> interesting you know <laughs> and uh, yeah i mean uh, we we also going to uh, have kiru on our show uh, very soon he's going to talk about how his bots trained uh, you know the nifty and bank nifty going to be very very interesting so guys uh, you know the uh, one announcement before uh, we thank vivek bhai is if you'd like to follow uh, you know content like this some quality trading content you know please ensure you subscribe to the channel uh, put your comments here we have guests who come every fortnight every 15 days we have a super trader who comes and talks about uh, you know how their trading journey went uh, some learnings so if you are excited to uh, know that please put out your comments uh, uh, ensure that you like the video subscribe to it and also since uh, vivek bhai you mentioned uh, about a book and a book which is very very important for everyone to read okay uh, what i'm planning to do is uh, for someone who puts out in the comment section uh one of their best trading experiences okay i'll repeat that uh if you put out your best trading experience or in the comment section as soon as the video goes live uh put hashtag #fisdem hashtag #1%academy uh we will uh, give out a giveaway of the amazing book that you spoke about the market wizard uh we will give out two of them okay for the best trading experience that you've had so ensure that you subscribe to the channel 
put on the chat uh, if you'd like to learn about a particular topic you know be it discretionary trading uh, futures options or systematic trading please put it out on the comment section we will ensure fisdom 1% academy will ensure we get the guests who are the super traders within that and we will ensure that your queries are solved this is an effort to ensure you guys become better traders and smarter traders in the market so vivek bhai thank you so much for your time the session has been amazing i'm looking forward to uh, some of the other strategies you would have probably shown us koli today surya kumar yadav is yet left i'm excited <laughs> for that the performer of 2022 i want to see that so uh, uh, please uh, thank you so much your time uh, is very valuable and you've been very very kind uh, you know at at on a drop of a call you said hey i'll come and i'll be there and share some knowledge so uh, thanks from the fisdom family the 1% family and all the viewers you've been amazing as usual uh, thanks a lot no thanks uh, honestly uh, uh, i mean to give the, the get, for the opportunity and i, I just think uh, you're a fantastic host because uh, you come with so much experience yourself so like when talking uh, you know to you and i learned a lot uh, and i mean i'm a mature trader right like i i just like learn every day so thank you we guys we all are students of the markets and i think uh, that's the biggest one out there yes so thank you let's learn and uh, grow together and not only grow grow our money together so Absolutely. on that Looking note forward. guys thank yeah. you so much have a wonderful weekend and stay tuned to the fisdom fyi uh, uh, you know we'll have amazing traders coming up and talking about their trading journey So thank you Vivek bhai and enjoy your weekend take care thank you likewise and uh, best of luck to everyone to make money come on see thank you, you. <laughs> bye bye bye